Barreling down the crowded racetrack at speeds of 220 miles per hour, two-time Indy 500 winner Dan Weldon was hoping to claim the $5 million prize. But at the end of lap 12, the mere beginning of the race, one of the cars lost control and instant mayhem played out. One of them touches, goes sideways, Scott and then mayhem. The remaining cars tried to dodge the gnarly debris flying around, and then this. Dan Weldon's car, number 77, catapulted into the air and crashed into the side fence in a fiery mess. Weldon was airlifted to the hospital, but didn't survive. IndyCar is very sad to announce that Dan Weldon has passed away from unsurvivable injury. Our, our thoughts and prayers are with his family today. Weldon, who was born in England, got behind the wheel of his first Indy car in 2002 and quickly climbed to the top, winning the Indy 500 in 2005. The impressive driver didn't stop there and sped on to clinch his second Indy 500 title this year. Shortly after, he sat down with PIX 11's Deborah Alfaron to talk about his win that almost didn't happen. You got up in the gray, and once you're up in the gray, you're out. What's, what's very wow. good about that is he kept his foot in, you see me pass. And there you are. And, uh, you know, win the race. Oh, my goodness. It was a very, very emotional race for me, um, you know, for a lot of different reasons. I wonder if it plays my radio <laughs> communication with the team. <laughs> Telling my wife I love her. Back at the raceway, a quick transformation from cheers to a tribute as a memorial played out on the tracks. Grief-stricken fellow drivers decided not to finish the race, but instead honor Weldon with a five-lap salute, while Weldon's number 77 was hoisted to the top of the leaderboard.